there is a lot of things to spend your money on in the Red Dead Redemption 2 online beta, but none are worse than the ones we have compiled today. This is a community sourced video, so you guys have answered this question. I put a post up on my community tab asking you what the most useless things that you've bought in Red Dead Online are, and I'm going to react to your comments and then give my thoughts on some of your answers. Starting off with the most liked comment here, we have a comment from Zeke101, and it says, a permanent posse when you have no friends. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I have a permanent posse and I did it just so I could have the bigger camp because I felt like the camp was too small and then now, now I don't play with anybody and I just have a posse, like a permanent posse formed. I need to get more people, I need to get you guys in the game more. So the money that it costs for an entire posse, mind you, is pretty expensive and then to pay for the bigger camp every time you use it is also pretty silly if you don't have anybody to play with, but yet, I still do it. I don't know why. The Pineapple Gang lives strong. Coming up next, we have a comment with 49 likes from Lord Dracula and he says the lock breaker. Yeah, I can totally see how that would be a really bad purchase in Red Dead Online. And I didn't even know that you had the ability to buy lock breakers in Red Dead Online. Like I was pretty sure that was just story mode. So I was even kind of surprised when I saw this comment because to be 100% honest with you, I really did not think that they would even put that in online. Or like, what is even the point of having a lock breaker in online? I don't, I don't even understand why that would be in there. So Lord Dracula, I feel your pain. I'm sorry you spent the money. I don't know why Rockstar put it in. Maybe you should tell Rockstar. Be like, hey, go to the support section. Be like, this is not worth the money. You should give my money back. They might, they might do it. Coming up at number three, we have, I guess it's not number three, but coming up next, we have a, uh, I, how do I say this? Ex, exos, exos, esos, exos, sakula. I don't, I, bruh. That's quite the name. I wish I was not so, so American. I wish I could pronounce anything. But anyway, Mr. Sakula here's comment has 35 likes and it says the Litchfield Repeater. And if you guys didn't know, the Litchfield Repeater was super useful in the story mode uh, because you could use Deadeye better, essentially. Deadeye was actually slowing down time in the story mode so you could make use of a higher damage weapon. There's a lot of things in the story mode that made the Litchfield better than one of the guns that you could use alternatively. But in online, Line. with the drawbacks it has just to get that buff damage it's just not worth it in the online and it's uh that's why you've never seen me make a litchfield repeater video here um i do really like the lancaster and i do really like the evans repeater however uh the litchfield repeater is just garbage it's hot garbage and i'm sorry you wasted your money on it my friend next up we have a comment with 33 likes from edward k and it says the lock breaker 95 dollars which we already covered earlier uh a high roller revolver 195 dollars the look on my face when i found out they're both useless priceless. Hey man, I totally feel you. I bought the high roller revolver and I'm pretty sure I even like flexed on it. Like I was excited about it right when it came out because I have a PlayStation. So I was like, oh yeah, cool. I'm going to use, I'm going to get the new high roller. It's cool. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not new. It's from a story, but still I was like, I'm going to get it in online and I'm pretty sure it was free. So I didn't have to pay for it. So I was like, oh cool. Thanks. This is awesome. But I could only imagine if you paid the $195 for that gun. Whoo boy. That is the second gun we are going to talk about today. That is just unjustifiably hot garbage. The thing is trash, boy. That that and the double action revolver, in my opinion, are two of the worst handguns you can have in game. Next up, we have that tube Ted, and he says the golden watch that costs one gold, but I can resell it for two dollars. Dude, yeah, I can I feel you, man. What one gold bar is supposed to be equal to like, I don't know, it's supposed to be hold on, let me check out the gun. Let me Google. Gold bar two in game dollars it looks like one gold bar is roughly 25 dollars give or take so when you look back at this comment here that says the golden watch that costs one gold but then i can resell it for two dollars he got totally ripped off ted i'm sorry i don't know why they did that to you i wish the resale game was better in this game i mean i wish the i wish there was a resale game in this game or resale economy in this game i guess is a better way to put it considering the fact that this is a, literally a game shouldn't use the term game when referencing something within a game but anyway you know to be able to sell weapons i've been talking about that since the very very beginning if you go back and watch my uh, red dead online like the first week or whatever the first week i posted a video i had a video i was like maybe we should be able to sell guns guys this should be a thing and then now we're six months in and it's we still can't sell guns we still are discarding horses i actually found myself discarding a horse that i wanted the other day just because it was going to be the cheapest one to buy back when i'm done with a horse review for the strawberry adren so i i mean honestly um the, the resale value the resale game is uh is atrocious inside a red dead online so don't 
ever ex don't ever buy something expecting to resell it. And then the Rockstar Gamer has a pretty dope comment at 18 likes that says paying for a PlayStation Plus subscription to play the game. Woo. Jesus, man, that's that's rough. That's rough. You bought a PlayStation Plus subscription just to play Red Dead? I mean, I did the same thing, but still, I just yikes. We got another comment here from CoverGirl678 that says Crips's outfit with a crying sad face and then 17 likes on that. Oof, man, I, this is getting rough. People are just dropping dropping bombs on Rockstar here. Be like, I, I and pretty much everything in the game. I've got another comment here, actually, just as I was saying, that's from Doze1. One, Doze1? One, 710? It's got 11 likes and it says the game itself for some people. Uh, we have another comment from Jeremy Drover saying the high roller revolver from the fence that's got 13 likes. Shadow Huff says the same type of gun that's stronger and rare. We talked about the rare double barrel. Yeah, this is a bad purchase. Hazard actually came through with a comment that said split point ammo pamphlet. Yeah, that was a really bad buy. Um, I remember I made my review on that and a lot of people were upset that I did not come to the conclusion that you should buy it. Uh, and I was like, hey man, I'm not gonna lie. I can't lie to people like that. Um, and then actually one that taught me something that I didn't know. Johnny Boof uh, said upgraded saddlebag for my horse. It doesn't even let you actually save five outfits. It just lets you put two more preset outfits like the Grizzlies outlaw or something. So basically it's like an upgrade pushing purchased items, which is like weird to me. And when I initially did my review for my horse saddle build, essentially the one that I'm still using, I said that you guys should buy the upgraded saddlebag. So if I said that and you did it, I'm sorry. I thought it let you store two more outfits that were saved on it. And I also thought it let you store more pelts. But after the update came out where they changed the amount of pelts that you can store on your horse, that kind of theory went down the drain. And then now reading this from Johnny here, it looks like to have upgraded saddlebags is actually really not worth it unless you're going for the aesthetic purchase. And so thankfully I already have them. I won't have to remake the aesthetic purchase, but still it might be something you you're looking to skimp on if you want to save money. And then we've got two of these coming up here that are talking about the tents. The first one's a little bit longer. It's from Tyler Valentine. It says, I have to say basically anything to do with the camps. I like everything I have for it, but it seems like when I'm riding to it and almost there, too many players spawn in that area and my camp gets packed away. I paid 200 for the large one and I pay $5 to get it back out and pay another daily fee for the quote unquote upkeep when it's been packed or moved from where I paid to place it. That has nine likes and then the comment under it says the $800 tent. Now, I have actually not had uh, pretty much any camp problems personally. However, I know a lot of people have been having camp problems so I wanted to throw these two in here because it might be worth holding off on maybe buying camp upgrades for a little bit longer if you don't have some already. Um, if you're like a new player to the game or something, it might be worth spending your money on ability cards and weapons instead of, uh, you know, upgrading your camp. Now I will say the $800 tent replenishes your cores when you enter free roam. So it, it is very, very nice to have that when you come in from like a, you know, a showdown series or you load up the game for the first time. Um, it is very nice to have full cores so I could see that, but for sure a camp theme or something like that might be something that is worth waiting on. And then earlier, I remember there was one 17 likes cover girl six, seven, eight. I know we talked about it already, but the Crips outfit, um, it really just looks like people are not super into the camp mechanics and it is a very big suck of money. So uh, if you're not, you know, looking to have your camp be all outfitted, then I would not, I would not waste the money on it. Coming up next, we have one from disc Inferno 70. And this is kind of funny. It says, I don't think I've ever seen a game that was so amazing offline and terrible online. And you know, honestly, um, I know that's not something you hated buying, but I think I just thought it was funny. I just thought it was funny and that's why I included it in here. Horizon Rover. This one's a little bit longer, but it says gold bars on promotion. Though to buy the best gold only saddle for my horse, which was buy now for XX gold. As soon as I bought gold bars for the saddle, it became level locked. Rockstar support agreed that it was not clearly shown, but didn't do anything about it. So I've been left with some urgent and not needed gold, which I could earn with time anyway. And I remember this was a really big deal right when the game came out, launched the microtransaction store. Everyone was like, oh crap, it's pay to win this blows and then rockstar changed some of the gold purchasing options it was originally supposed to be buy now for whatever gold however when they changed it over from pay to win and started doing all these level locking things even though it still is kind of pay to win but whatever you know they started level locking everything they didn't take that into account for the ones that said buy now for x amount of gold so people were having this issue where they were like all right and then it took them to the store and they bought the gold so they could go back and buy the thing and then they did not get a refund for the gold or the item shown that they were trying to buy so 
honestly, it's really sad. It's, it's really sad that that was a part of the game's launch, and it's kind of sad that uh, Horizon here was not given anything for his troubles, which is really unfortunate. And to see that the comment only has eight likes, I mean, I, I just, I feel like it wasn't as widespread of an issue, but it was really affecting the individuals who had it happen, and then to not have any response to it kind of sucks. Um, and then we're gonna go down here further. Aaron says, the deluxe edition. That's it, that's all he says, the deluxe edition. Yeah, it was pretty, that's pretty savage too. A lot of these comments are just like, yo, the game, like the game is what I regret buying um, and then vision X who inspires a lot of the videos that wind up going up here He leaves some pretty constructive com I'm assuming it's boy, but leaves some pretty constructive comments and then some pretty good comments as well um, We've got can you do a video about how stranger missions don't work three-fourths of the time still I actually have already put out that video um, I reference it that that was the the inspiration excuse me behind the dear rockstar So if you haven't seen dear rockstar go ahead and check it out. Um, it's basically just a a short message to Rockstar saying, hey, please fix the game, but it's worded as nicely as I could possibly word it. So that way Rockstar would take it seriously and not like just brush it off as hate. It's like an actually somewhat constructive uh, letter, I guess, but it's very short. So anyway, and then we got another comment here from Blue Shell. Now Blue Shell is actually a, a repeat commenter on my videos. Um, sometimes he's like, hey, hey man, that video is a little long and like, hey, you know, I, I get it, but I got a lot of opinions, Blue. Uh, but anyway, Blue left us a, uh, a pretty good comment here and it says lock breaker canned food permanent posse and machete and the different kinds of axes so uh, we've already covered the lock breaker canned food and online is a ridiculously overpriced uh, item I bought a lot of canned pineapples because I'm pineapple um, but yeah it, it is a ridiculously overpriced item and does not fill your cores nearly as much as it should the permanent posse we already went over and the lock breaker we already went over however the machete and the different kinds of axes I'm a really big fan of the machete I think it looks cool. I love it in all the cutscenes or cutscenes, excuse me, um, match photos. I love smacking people in the face with a machete. It's really fun to me. So for me, the machete, I can see the different kinds of axes being pretty useless. Yeah, I, I don't know. I really like the machete. The machete was a good buy to me, but I think it was eight or nine it was it was more gold than I care to remember honestly so that could be a deterrent it is gold and it really is just basically a big knife um, however when you switch to it in showdowns you do feel like a badass and that concludes the majority of all of our highly upvoted ones I'm gonna rapid fire off a few right now just because there is a bunch of bunch of bunch of comments left so I appreciate you guys for leaving all of these comments thank you guys very much for participating in the community poll so we're gonna rapid fire a few of these right now just because I think you know we're already getting Getting pretty long here but I do want to honorable mention however many of these I can so we're gonna just go down the go down the line here a Schofield revolver that thing literally costs eight gold somebody else said the rare shotgun uh, somebody said they bought the kiss emote by accident with gold bars and explaining it to their friends was uh, not very fun the black Arabian horse says regular lures with gold bars which I can totally see we got another comment here that says the Litchfield, but the same comment says or the tiger striped Mustang which is interesting because I was gonna buy that one so I'm glad somebody mentioned it. Uh, the game itself, Savage, Marshall, Savage. Oh, we got another comment here that says split point ammo pamphlet. And then we've got another comment that says my dual sawed off shotguns. Yeah, I really thought that was gonna be a good investment for me too. It really only helps at super close range. It's kind of annoying. We got a comment from the Rev that says a ton of bad looking clothes. Another comment that says the red and black Cavalier hat. Now every prostitute west of the Mississippi has one and it's no longer cool. Now, I don't really know if it was cool before every prostitute west of the Mississippi Mississippi had one, but I don't, I mean, now I, I think it's even less cool. Uh, we have another comment that says the lock breaker, another camp comment that says anything to do with the camp. We have a comment here that says Evans repeater, comma, dumb, which I could totally see if you already had a Lancaster repeater. The special spinner bought it like days before they gave it away for free. Same thing to me. Somebody else says their worst buys were the lock breaker, the white Arabian horse, the incinerary buckshot pamphlet. And then they said in their opinion, split point ammo is awesome in PVP, which is interesting because for me, I think incendiary buckshot was one of my favorite buys um, and split point ammo was not so it's just interesting to see the the perspective and the amount of difference that the different community members have uh, we have four hundred and twelve dollars on the rolling block sniper rifle when the bolt action has the same attributes um, and that is that's totally fair I personally keep my bolt action without a scope on it so that I can have it be more like a rifle and then my rolling block I use as a sniper but I still have not come to a conclusion whether or not I like the uh, Italian made 
sniper rifle or the rolling block. I, I, I say Italian made because I'm gonna pronounce the name wrong. Actually, we've got a few more comments that say the pocket watch, lock breaker, lock breaker, fishing lures before they gave them to you, Mauser pistol, upgrading the camp, maybe a pocket watch, binoculars. There's a lot of stuff like this, but I think uh, this is where we're gonna call it quits for today. So this has been the most useless items inside of Red Dead Redemption 2's online beta. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any other useless items that I did not mention here. I would love to hear what you guys think about what you don't want to spend your money on or maybe what you do want to spend your money on. And I really like doing these community videos. So I think we're going to do the, one of these longer community videos every, um, I don't know about every week, like a routine like day or something like that. But I do want to do a uh, community poll kind of thing where you guys give me your opinions on stuff. And then I go through the comments like this. I did this before with major fan backlash and it seemed to work really well for that video. Um, and then I feel like this is going to be a pretty solid video as well, because this was all the stuff that you probably don't want to spend your money on, right? So hopefully me and the community have saved you a little bit of money or you've been able to laugh at some of these with us and uh, that'll be it for this video. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys want to see some of my shorter, more, uh, you know, compact content, we got a bunch of videos up on the channel right now. Um, don't forget to go buy your ammo in bulk. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. But do that today or tomorrow, today being Easter, tomorrow being Monday, because by Tuesday you will not be able to use this trick anymore. So go make sure you max out your ammo right now. Anyway, I will see you guys very, very soon with a brand new Red Dead Redemption 2 online beta video. Peace.